Father, your way for this day that you have made for yourself, that we should worship you, we should remember that you are our all in all, our Alpha and Omega. Our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings, thank you, Father Yahweh. Lord Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for your faithfulness, that you are always there to feed us with the bread of life, even today, with uh, Luke. For this first, this, this first year day of the civil year 2019, uh, the scripture you gave us, Luke 5, verses 22 to 24. I read, I read, but when Yahshua perceived that they had thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say, Thy sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine room. End of quote. This is the word of God. Today, the Lord teaches us about the power of miracles. Power of miracles. Power of miracles. The first leg of this presentation Trust the one who makes the impossible possible. Trust the one who makes the impossible possible. There are so many gods in this world that will not make impossible possible. How many are there in our assembly, in our churches, where the gospel is preached, who do not uh, sit under the world the word who do, do not sit under the word but by it by the word it is to them as a tell a tell that a tell a tell that is told them not as a message that is sent to them observe the jury is taught and recommended uh, to us by these these uh, history of the paralytic who is called in the, uh, the, the, the scripture palsy, pal, man of man will palsy. In applying to Christ, we must be very pressing and urgent. And that is the case I'm going to read you some verses about that. That is an evidence of faith and is very pleasing to Christ and prevailing with him also. Verse 12 reads, I quote, And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who, seeing Yahshua, fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. End of quote. Verse 12. This leper had strong faith that Christ is a God who can make the impossible possible. For, for his leprosy was incurable. He believed that Christ only can, can cure it. Likewise, likewise, friends, the friends of the of an incurable paralytic believed that if only they, they could bring him before before Christ the Lord will make him whole then Christ said unto the man with palsy I quote man thy sin are forgiven thee end of quote quoting verse 20 the verse just before the, the scripture of the day. Our constant prayers should be. 
I start with, with those prayers that we should be praying. We should pray, give us, Lord Yeshua, the same kind of faith with respect to thy ability and willingness to heal our souls. Another prayer. Point. Another prayer. Give us the desire to pardon. Give us to desire the pardon of sin more than any earthly blessing or ever love itself. Enable us to believe thy power to forgive sins. Then will our souls cheerfully arise and go where thou pleasest. Yet the heart of the hearts of men are seldom inclined to believe in Christ and say these prayers. In verse twenty verse twenty one reads, I quote and the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? End of quote. They began to think and say within themselves these things. What vain boaster and blaspheming creation, creature is this? Who assumes that to himself, which is the prerogative of the prerogative of God only? The scribes and the Pharisees, therefore, so they rightly ascribe forgiveness of sin to Yahweh, to Yahweh alone. Yet they grievously sin in in imputing blasphemy to Christ. <coughs> they had wrong notions of Christ. They, they, they concluded him to be but a mere man against the light and evidence of his works and miracles that he showed them and also of his office as a redeemer. Who came to save his people from their sins and seem to restrain and they seem to restrain the power of forgiving sin to Yahweh God the Father whereas the Son of God being equal with Yahweh has has the same the same power and that heaven on earth we can see this the, the, the heaven on earth to forgive sin, we can see this in Mark, in Mark 2 verse 7 as well. Besides, the power to forgive sins is imparted even to the saints, the true Christian, the unwanted, and uh, uh, those indwelt with the Holy Spirit through prayer to Christ. So there is nothing new Christ gave heaven that power to his anointed. For the apostle wrote, I quote, the, the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if, uh, the, if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. End of quote. Quoting James 5 verse 15. Second leg of this presentation, a true Christian shall show signs and wonders. A true Christian shall show shall shall show signs and wonders. Let us interpret the scriptures. It says, "Where, but when Yahshua perceived the towards the end of quote, being God omniscient." Yahshua knows the thoughts of our hearts. God knows the thoughts of our heart. God Yahweh, His Son Yahshua Christ, and His Holy Spirit. He knows the thoughts of our hearts. And the scripture says, He answering said unto them, What reason you in your hearts? 
End of quote. This he said not as being ignorant, uh, 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 ignorant of what uh, what the reasonings were, for it was just said before uh, that he perceived their thoughts, but to expose the wickedness of them. We see this also in Mark in in Matthew nine verse four. Then the scripture says, "Whether is it easier to say?" And of course, Mark the evangelist adds to say to to the sick of the palsy, to whom Christ had said that his sins were forgiven him, which had given offense to the scribes and the Pharisees, imagining that. He had assumed too much for himself. Wherefore, he proposes the following case to them, which they thought was most easy for man, or more proper and peculiar uh, to God to say. The scripture says, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk. End of quote. Neither of them could be said by a mere man with, with effect. So as that sins would be really remitted on, 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 so, on saying so. Or that a man sick of a palsy by such a word uh, of the, by speaking such a word would be able to stand up on his feet and walk but both of them forgiving sin asking someone to to rise up and walk both of them were equally easy to Yahshua Christ that he who is who he, for he is truly God and uh, uh, he is he that could say the one that that thing effectually could also say the uh, what him for Christ could say the one and he could also say the other because he is God. Or in other words, he the one who could cure cure a man of a fallacy with a word with speaking a word. Uh, uh, ought not to be charged with blasphemy for taking upon him to forgive sins. So which one is greater? Our Lord Yahshua Christ meant by putting this question and acting upon it to prove himself to be God, Yahweh, and to remove the imputation of blasphemy which came out of their thoughts, in their thoughts, the thoughts of their hearts, to put it, to, to, to remove that imputation of blasphemy from him. We see this also in Matthew 9 verse 5 and Mark 2 verse 9. Now remember that being a Christian means being a follower of Christ, being an imitator, of Christ and ultimately, ultimately being a son of God as Christ anointed of the Holy Spirit and performing same miracles signs and wonders as Christ the same miracle Christ performed for he said this is what Christ said Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. End of quote. Quoting John 14 verse 12. Christ went to his Father. And he is not performed. He is not anymore physically there, but he has he anoints people 
who can keep on doing the same work, working signs and wonders and miracles. Therefore, it should not be seen weird that a Christian would, would work miracles as some barren Christian church, uh, th uh, uh, Christian churches which teach the heresy of cessationism make you see it. You know, cessationism is saying that the miracles are finished. Uh, there are no more miracles. After the death of the first apostles, uh, the miracle ceased. That is cessationism. So, the reverse, on the contrary, the reverse, that is a church where no miraculous works are to be shown and should be seen as an indication of worldly, worldly barren church, one where the Holy Spirit is absent. Likewise, if you see that, for you personally, if you see that year after year, you do not experience in you the presence of the Holy Spirit, and you cannot testify of any gift of the Holy Spirit, well, you need to check your spiritual status to see whether you really follow Christ, whether you are living a life of a saint, whether you live in total obedience to Yahweh and His word. The scripture says then, But that ye may know that the Son of Man, end of quote, whom the scribes and Pharisees took for a mere man, uh, 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 in which they were mistaken, we may say, for so he was really a man, and the son of man, the son of David, yet he was God as well as man. He was God, Yahweh, manifest in the flesh. And the scripture says, hath power upon earth to forgive sin, and of good, even in the days of his flesh, while he was in his humble form, on earth for he did not cease to be God by becoming man nor did he lose any branch of his power not this power of forgiving sin by appearing in the form of a servant and that he might that that it might be manifest that power and the scripture says he said unto the sick of the palsy and of good these are the words of the evangelist signifying that christ turned himself from the scribes and and the pharisees to the paralytic man and thus he addressed him the scripture says I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy couch, and go unto thine house, into thine house, and of good. The Lucasm, the curious, the cavaliers, the friendly, to uh, uh, as, as the unfriendly uh, who crowded uh, that Capernaum house. Capernaum is where Christ lived could not see with their eyes the Redeemer's remission of the, pal the paralytic, the, the, pa the, the palsy's man's sin. They could not see the remission of sin. But the sufferer alone, the, pal the man with palsy, was conscious that the great burden which, which pressed on his soul was removed at the master's word, at Yahshua's word. But all could see the miracle which follows, the miracle of standing up and walking. That is the only thing they could see. So Christ is praying here 
to show him this, his power. There are many things that he does that they cannot see, like forgiving sins. But we are always focused only, or focus on only on what we see. When he says, stand up and walk and go. That, we will say, yes, that is a miracle. But we don't see the great miracle of pardoning sins. Anyone of those present, had he did my heart, uttered the solemn absolution. None but Christ could surely risk as he risked such words, words which followed and which challenged an instant and visible fulfillment. It was a strange, great claim the Master made that day. And we may be sure it, 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 we, it, it and, and the mighty sign which followed sunk deep into many, many, many a heart. We see why the memory of these days work was treasured up so faithfully in the scriptures. I quote verse, verse 25. He took up that where one he laid and he went he went home and of course in verse 25 part a this could easily have been done the bed or pallet or pallet uh, would be nothing but a light portable portable uh, framework covered with with a blanket we seem to see signs, wonders, and miracles all over our, our Bibles. When we, you focus on the Bible, you may focus only on signs, wonders, and miracles. But for many of us, we see an absence of signs, wonders, and miracles in our lives and in the world around us, isn't it? So... Where did the wonders go? Evangelist John Pieper, a great evangelist, had an answer to this, that this is fairly simple. It, 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 it's this. There were fewer miracles in the Bible than you probably think. And there are more miracles today than you, the, than you probably know. And there is a good biblical reason for why there would be a certain kind of prevalence of miracles in the Bible that is different from today. Here is a, typ a typical biblical statement I could. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old, and of quote quoting Psalm 77 verse 11. When you read the Old Testament, you realize most of the saints in most of those centuries would have talked like that, like these, like, like, like the psalmist. They would say, the wonders of old, oh, remember the wonders of old. They would have had the same questions we, we do today. They would say, why were, these more, why were there more miracles in the days of Elijah or in the days of Moses than, uh, uh, than there are today in the days of the prophets or in the days of the kings? It's simply a great mistake to think that there are miracles running all through the history, the history of God's people as the Bible records it. They were not running all through the history of God's people. They, they sprung, they sprung up around certain periods of time. Uh, 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 like the Exodus and like the ministries of Elijah and Elisha. You may see this in the in the book of uh, uh, Exodus, in, in the book of um, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Anyway, all prophets sometimes they date 
they uh, they they would say after a year he got this revelation after this he got this prophecy sometimes after 10 years he will get a prophecy so were the miracles most of the time the saints of the old testament were were living by faith in the promises of god for the future rooted in the past wonders the past wonders of yahweh that he had worked when it comes to the new testament it is gloriously true that yahshua christ did miracles perfectly and consistently he did the miracles quite every day that is what i mean by consistently so even he raised even he even though he raised the only three people from the dead and he didn't heal people in many places where he traveled or where he traveled not besides from from the land of israel which is the former land of canaan yashua did not travel further than coastal syria uh, excluding egypt uh, 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 where he, he went when he was still a baby we shouldn't think of the bible times either old or new testament are uh, stand in which sins of yahweh consistently did miracles that would be a distortion of the biblical record if we would think so there were a few miracles were a few and far and far between in in the old testament there are po probably more miracles happening today than we realize if we could collect think about this if we could co collect all the authentic stories all over the world from all all the missionaries and all the saints true christians in all the countries of the world all the cre the cultures of the world if if we could collect all the millions of encounters between christians and demons and between christians and uh, sickness in all the so-called coincidences of the world which they call coincidences sometimes they call it luck we would be stunned we will be stunned because there are miracles all over the world happening quite on a daily basis we will think we were living in a world of miracles if we do that which we are Yahweh does not and does not now and then and sometimes regularly in periods of, of revival use his power to perform Yahweh does now and then and then uh, 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 using his power uh, uh, in, in regular pe uh, periods of, uh, of, of revivals use his power to perform according to his sovereign will miracles for his people he always does why Yahweh doesn't do it more now than he does is partly perhaps owing to our lack of expense expend expend expectancy our we are not we are not expecting we are not waiting we are not waiting on him every day the, and also faith if we are not waiting on Yahweh, if we have no faith in Yahweh, why would he perform miracles? Even if he performed miracles, we wouldn't see because our mind is somewhere else. We, are, we will not be waiting for them to notice them. But this is ultimately owing to his sovereign decree. Divine miracles are worked to convince those who cannot believe but by seeing for Yahshua Christ said it, I quote, except ye see signs and wonders, 
ye will not believe. End of quote. This, he said this in John 4 verse 48. Especially in this generation absorbed by the God of science. Did you know that science is a God? It's a God for many people. So with this generation absorbed by the God of science and his sensually attested truth, most unbelieving people would believe only when their senses witness truth that would that would consistently, consistently uh, make scientific, scientific doctrines lies. The harvest in this is plentiful, but the workers are few, as it is said in Matthew 9, verse 37. There is a vast number of souls that need salvation, but those the awakened use those who live a godly life and obey him totally are few beloved try to be one of the few and enjoy the bliss that is in serving yahweh know this and the lord yahweh will bless you let us take these prayer points let us pray for this, for seven, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord Yeshua Christ, who before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the <coughs> Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, then to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that ye may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love, in the name of Yeshua, Lord Yeshua Christ, who, before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, then to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yeshua Christ, who, before ascending into heaven did promise did promise to send the holy ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples then to grant the same holy spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love thank you for all to your glory in the mighty name of yeshua the messiah we pray Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. In the name of Yeshua, grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world.